Hi there, I'm John from SandboxRanch.com and today I want to make my son a custom helicopter. My son now is a little over two and a half and he loves helicopters. So whenever you watch videos of helicopters, he knows what it is, he knows what it does and you just watch it all day. And I told him, well, I'll make you a helicopter. And he was really excited about it. So he's been looking at the 3D rendering of this helicopter being sort of made on my computer for the last, actually two weeks. Um, rendering takes a long time. And this is actually a model that I designed. I taught myself how to design these kind of things uh, back when I was in Korea. I didn't have access to a woodworking shop, but I knew I taught myself 3D animation. So I thought, well, why don't I just make 3D kits and sell the digital files online? And it worked great for almost a decade before I started cncri.com. And this is one of those 100 models that I initially designed. I did do a couple of changes to this design uh, because my son's two and a half and I want him to live a little bit longer. The biggest change I made was the top here. On the original design, I have like a little bit of a piece of plywood that comes up here. This happens to be plywood. A little piece that comes up and that holds this and this can spin around. The problem is with a two and a half year old, he's going to throw this everywhere. And as a result, it's not going to be very strong. So I ended up, ended up just taking that off and putting a screw here and here. And it gives it a lot more strength. This one's a little bit tighter. This one's a little bit more sort of flimsy, I guess. Uh, just so he's got, you know, some contrast to play around with. Other changes I've made, because again, it's a two and a half year old. Um, I didn't put any of the wheels on or any of the very small parts. He still has the doors that go on both sides. And I didn't paint those on purpose because I'm not even going to give him those. It's just slot in here. But I think it's easier for him at his age to actually just grab it like this and, you know, fly it around like this. So again, you got to sort of design things for age appropriate. You also have to build the kit age appropriate as well. So whenever you buy kits from sandboxranch.com, feel free to modify it however you want. You have all the parts. Um, now it's just, well, which parts are absolutely necessary? Which ones can you sort of add on later if, you, if need to? Something that always fascinated me uh, growing up was actually animation. Uh, the problem I had is I can't draw. I just don't have, you know, what I have in my head and what ends up, you know, at the end of my uh, hands don't match. And there's nothing I do around that to sort of fix it. Uh, but I found 3D animation and with 3D animation, I'm able to convert what's in my head and actually build it as a model, as you see here with the uh, Chinook, actually in a physical form by going the virtual route. And after teaching myself how to do this, it's relatively straightforward, at least to me, uh, building this way. Um, you can basically just design anything. And whenever I came out with new models with my old business, which was originally woodmarvels.com, then cncking.com got transferred over to that. Um, I always wanted to show people how everything went together without having to uh, explain it to them. And the way I thought about it was just do a 3D animation showing all the parts coming together, as you've seen. And just to show you an idea of how they sort of interface with one another, you do another version of it that looks like glass. Um, and that's what I did for years and years and years. Of course, when you do a 3D animation, you got to have a bit of fun. So that's why you'll see this uh, Chinook take off and uh, go away. Of course, the kit does not... Uh, fly off on its own you need a little bit of help by pushing it so in this case here the as you saw i guess uh this kit here was laser cut out of plywood the kit was designed for six millimeters or quarter inch uh, this is about about 15 percent thinner uh, plywood is never the thickness that you buy it at for some reason and because of that i had to scale the whole design down 15 percent whenever i design projects like these kind of kits here I always design them based on material thickness. And the nice thing about that approach, it's not parametric, but the nice thing about that approach is that I always get a perfectly fit design just by scaling the whole drawing up or down. So let's say I wanted to cut this model here out uh, using you know one inch thick uh, MDF. I could just scale the design up so that you know the thickness is one inch and cut it out and it'll be the same as this, except much, much larger. Obviously, this video is highly sped up. Uh, this is roughly, again, quarter inch uh, plywood. It's a little bit thinner than that, but um, I just scaled it down accordingly. 
Now, when it comes to laser cutting, the nice thing about it is there's nothing that's holding the material down, which means that, you know, unlike using a CNC router to cut this out, uh, you just sort of plop the uh, sheet there and it goes ahead and cuts it. Now, the downside to that, if that's what you want to think about it, is that you also have a burned edge everywhere. Now, with the kits that you get from sameboxranch.com, you'll still have that burned edge if we're using your laser to do it. Uh, this model could be routered. Um, I've done it before and it works fine, but I think the laser produces a more precise result because I'm not limited by the diameter of the bit. Now, when it's cutting out all these individual parts, it's very easy to lose track of which parts go where. Uh, so that's why I also wrote quite a few books about uh, showing the assembly process. But when you buy the kits from sandboxranch.com, you not only have the 3D animation showing you how to go together, but I also send you a PDF of how to actually assemble it properly. Now, it's, I'm a little bit rusty for assembling kits. Um, it's been quite a while since I last did this. Uh, so I applied quite a bit more glue than I should have. And then I forgot to wipe it all down afterwards. Uh, but it doesn't really matter. You know, this is for my son and he's going to enjoy it whether it's got a bit too much glue or not. And one thing I did uh, was to paint it afterwards. And again, it's just to add a little bit more interest to it. Uh, you know, this Simon hasn't had his own little helicopter of this size before. So for him, it's all brand new. It's an amazing. So that's basically what my goal was uh, when I cut this out and assembled it for him. Now you might have noticed when I did the introduction to this video, I had this helicopter and throughout the video, I had a different helicopter with this for the rotor blades. And the reason for that is pretty straightforward. Uh, my son broke this within an hour. Um, here's the broken one. So this one is actually accurate for the model, but for a two and a half year old, it's pretty much garbage because it broke right away. So my solution was not to make him another one out of plywood. My solution was to make one um, out of bulletproof glass, which is polycarbonate. I think it looks cooler too. So if you can see here, so we have a washer here and we have bulletproof glass here. So even I cannot break this. This is indestructible. No matter how much you choose on it, no matter he throws it anywhere, there's no way he's going to break it. And I'll just show you the difference in the design as well. Might be kind of hard to see there. If I get the reflection going, it'll help. So you'll notice it's a lot shorter. And the reason for that is because I noticed when my son's grabbing it, like he's not our size, he's really small. So when he grabbed it this close, you'd always, ha always have this thing going close to his eye. And I wasn't crazy about that for two reasons. One, it's kind of long and skinny. And two, it had sharp corners. So the new design, he actually has, you can actually see this, the edge. So here. So you can see the edge here. So there's not much room he can come close in and whack himself in the head with. So with this, even if he does hit himself, it's also rounded. It's a lot fatter. So we'll see how this round goes with him. Uh, but so far he's loved this helicopter and he was crying quite a bit when he broke it. But I told him, you know, dad would make him a brand new one. And now he's got it. I've cut a lot of polycarbonate through the years with my laser and my router. It's a nasty material when you laser cut it. Uh, so what I did is I wiped all the edges uh, before I assembled it onto the finished model. So even my son happens to chew on it a little bit, um, all the nasty stuff is pretty much gone. If I observe him playing around with it a little bit too much on the edges again, what I'll do is I'll just sandblast the whole thing. Uh, but I didn't have time to do it this time around and we'll just see uh, based on observation what my son does with the finished model. So if you're looking for custom kits, uh, custom designed by me and shipped right to your door, uh, just go to sandboxranch.com, you can see them there. But if you want to see how I began all of these businesses, uh, what, almost, well in 2008, so that's been quite a while, almost 15 years ago, when I started teaching myself how to do this stuff. Uh, just go over to uh, cncking.com and you'll see, you know, me much younger and me designing all of these things. And it was a fun uh, project for me back then that I gave myself and it's what led to me running, you know, a custom fabrication shop. I knew nothing about CNC machines back then. I just assumed that's what they were. And it happens that that's exactly how they work and function. I never could have imagined that I'd end up with a shop, you know, like this with a whole bunch of different CNC machines, lasers, routers, everything. It's crazy. Uh, but, you know, if you learn, you know, you get a little seed of something when you're young and you just keep building on it. So if you're looking for custom uh, kits,
go to sandboxranch.com. You can buy them there and, the, and they'll be shipped right to your door.